Good morning. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. Weatherman got this one wrong. It's supposed to be sunny today, but it's cloudy. But anyway, this is a great, great day in the history of Benton High School. Um, there's going to be thousands of people here later for the unveiling of the new Benton Panther. It's been a long process in the making. Um, I can't wait to see the unveiling and we'll film that later. I have with me this morning Mary Kay Mooney, who was in my class, the class of 1964, and Joyce Faulkner, Joyce Faulkner. class of 1952. Yes. She'll have to get that in. Right. These two ladies were very instrumental in getting this whole project started. Uh, how many years ago? Two, three? Well, almost no, two. it's been, yeah, almost two, well over a year and a half. We started in September of 2012. Well, I'm going to let you tell us how, what was the uh, idea behind this? Okay, well, now I'm going to let Joyce tell that okay. part, and then I'm going to tell you about the fundraiser. Okay. In June of 2012, we were gathered together for a 60th class reunion of the class of 1952. And at that meeting, we decided, and we met right up here in the cafeteria, we toured this beautiful new school, and we decided on this spot, talked with the school board and we were given permission to start the campaign which we did and we next uh, searched for just the right sculptor uh, we did a multi-state search came up with the right man mr. David Harris mr. David Harris and his wife Bree on the uh, light and time, time design studio in uh, Royal Arkansas. He and his wife, uh, Mr. Harris and his wife Bree, are founders of the Arkansas Sculpture yeah. Guild, and of which Mr. Harris is now president. He has lots of work around many, in many states, at the state capitol here, at the uh, MacArthur Park, etc. And after we got that going, Mr. Dedman then uh, asked me and Mary Kay to be co-chairman and we were off and running and uh, we had an idea, we have a uh, scheduled campaign and we're ready to go. At this point, the greatest campaign <laughs> manager <laughs> for raising money steps in and nobody here can, we go. Nobody can say no to this lady. Right, right. <laughs> well, now Mary Kay is going to tell us how we actually well, got to this point. Right, we started our fundraising and the whole idea for me was that it be totally alumni driven with absolutely alumni dollars. No corporate, no big business, nothing like that. And uh, some people were a little bit skeptical because we needed to raise over $30,000 and that seemed huge at the time. But not to me because I know these alumni, I know these grads and they bleed maroon and gray and I knew they would come through for us. And so we started our uh, fundraising and I tried to contact virtually every class that I could, at least have one representative. And Joyce and Jim Faulkner uh, offered to give us a challenge. And for the first $10,000 that would be raised by the classes, if they gave over $1,000, they would match it up to $10,000. Well, that was too good to miss. Even if I didn't want a panther, I would have done something <laughs> about that. I'm not gonna pass up that kind of money. And so uh, we did do that, and we had 11 classes that met the challenge. We had three uh, individuals and others that were Panther Challenge patrons who gave over $1,000, and that was the Faulkners, Fred and Edith Swain, and the Bitten Athletic Memorial Museum. There were 23 other classes that gave something, less than 1,000, but they did give something. And then we had approximately seven other patron type people that gave something. But everybody that gave, it was alumni driven. And I think that there were, there were no school funds that were used, not one dollar of Benton school money was spent on this. 
it was strictly by the graduates of Benton High School. And so today we're excited to be doing this. It's been a long journey with some detours along the way uh, for numerous reasons. Uh, but we were steadfast in our resolve to get this done. And uh, we're just so excited and we want everybody to be as proud of our Panther as we are. And we're involving the school, all the students, all the employees, the band, the cheerleaders. And after a while, we're gonna get started with that. And we just hope that everybody has a wonderful time and that it will be a celebration that everybody can enjoy. And just, we just have had so much cooperation from uh, former Principal John Dedman and the current Principal Lita Gaddis. They've just been instrumental in helping us. And I just, we just couldn't have done it without the alumni. They were absolutely key to the entire thing. And so, uh, you know, Joy, you're an alumni in my class and my, our class of 64 and Joyce's class of 52 were the leading money raisers of the entire, every class that ever graduated from Benton. And we were pretty much dollar for dollar. We kind of had a little thing going. And so uh, we, we literally were almost dollar for dollar. And so I am so proud of my class and, and I'm proud of the 52 class because those two classes absolutely were the primo, primo of the primo. But just we just appreciate the alumni and this Panther belongs to everyone. And this is not one that Bryant can pick up in. No, we, no we've, all, we've already checked into that. He, he's pretty so. heavy and he's, he is going to be unique. The mold is broken. There will never be another one like this. This was a design and concept that we came up with. We have been there since an idea in our mind to a sketch on a page, to a piece of styrofoam, to clay. We have watched it go through every process. And like so. Listen, I tell you, I have said that more than once. I feel like I have given birth to this thing, and yes, it's been painful. Yes, it was joyous when we saw it set, but I still won't forget all the pain. And I told Joyce, too, between watching for the weather and hoping that it didn't rain and the other, I feel like I've given birth and had a garden wedding all in the same swell swoop. So I don't right. need to do this again for a long time. But, you know, and, and you, you do a project and you look for the positives that have come out of it over and above what, you were, what your goal was. And I'm telling you that I have made a wonderful new friend and we will be friends and we will stand strong as friends as long as that panther stands and that's going to be for a long time. That's going to be for a long time. Okay, that is great. Uh, we're going to be unveiling the statue shortly. Yes, we are. We'll be back in a few. And I'm telling you, I may take my clothes off. I'll be so excited. <laughs> okay. Thanks.
so y'all can hear what's going on today. This is a big day in Panther history. And I'm gonna introduce you to Mary Kay Mooney. She is one of the people that started this thing to get it all together. And it's been a long journey, but today we're gonna culminate it with the unveiling of this Panther. Let's give her a hand. This is really exciting for the ones of us that have worked on this. Uh, I told some friends of mine, I feel like I've given birth and tried to have a garden wedding all at the same time, worrying about the weather. And it has been painful, but we are joyous today because it's here. And uh, in the words of Coach Dwight Scott, it's a great day to be a Benton Panther today. <laughs> Dwight Scott was a member of the class of 1961. And I want to especially welcome all of the Benton alumni that are here today and also these great students and all of the teachers and the employees of Benton High School. We just appreciate you guys being here so much. And we want you to feel like this Panther is yours too, not just because us old guys raised some money, but we want you guys to own this and love it like we do and be protective of him. And I know some of you all see Gary James back here, so I want to ease everybody's mind. Gary is not going to get the microphone today. So y'all just rest, relax, and know that he's not going to do anything. And um, the, uh, the next person that I want to uh, introduce to you is my co-chairman on this endeavor. And her name is Joyce Potts Faulkner, and she's from the class of 1952. And, <laughs> 52 and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and uh, she's going to tell you how this project got started how the idea even came about Joy? Oh, she's right here Oh, that's right. 
you for being out here to celebrate with us today, and thank you for all the alumni that have shown up to. I'm from the class of 52, and there's several of us they let out of the cave this morning to come over here. In June of 2012, our forever class president, Marjo Quinn, asked, us, asked the class of 52 to get together for our 60th, 60th class reunion. There were 21 members that attended. At the union, reunion, a, an idea was born, a good idea. And after we toured this beautiful, state-of-the-art Benton High School, we felt it would be a good idea to have a bronze sculptor of the Pine Bluff High School, of the Benton High School, sorry, Benton High School Panther mascot, right here on this very spot. We then literally passed the hat and collected several hundred dollars toward that project. Next, we presented this idea to Mr. John Dedman, who was the assistant of the uh, principal at that time, and the school board, and we were given permission to proceed. Mr. Dedman asked me and Mary Kay Watts Mooney to be co-chairman. Okay, now we have a good idea. We have co-chairman, and we have a little seed money. The next step was an extensive search for the right sculptor to do sculptor to do this job, and we did find just the right man, Mr. David Harris. Mr. Harris and his wife Bree owned the Light and Time Design Studio in Royal, Arkansas. They are the founders of the Arkansas Sculptor Guild, of which Mr. Harris is the president. <coughs> he has many pieces of his work around several states, has worked at Mathauser Park, Camp Aldersgate, and the Convention Center. I want you to meet Mr. David Harris and his wife, Bree. Would they please stand? be a great idea when people get behind it and make it happen. I must tell you that Mary Kay Watts Mooney has spirit that transmits to everyone and she is the best money raiser and promoter that I have ever known. I was searching for words to describe her and it seems that not just involved but committed serves her well. She is going to tell you how we actually came from the class of 1952 with a good idea to the class of 2014 with a great idea and the dedication of this spectacular sculpture of the Benton High School Panther. Mary Kay. I've done so much fundraising over the years that people see me across the street so they don't have to come near me because they know I want something. But we watched this panther go from an idea to a sketch to a piece of styrofoam to clay to what we have today. It took a long time, but with David's skill, you're going to love, I hope, what we have today. The price of the sculpture was $30,000. Probably, if we were going to replicate that today, I've been told it would cost at least 60000 So you all do have something you can be proud of. And then we had enough money left that we put a plaque on it with all the classes. And I want you guys to read that because the names on that plaque are the people that made this possible. But we started our fundraising and I tried to contact as many of the classes as possible. I wanted this to be alumni driven no corporate, no big business, strictly by graduates of Benton High School. And I want you all to know that that's exactly how this has been funded. No money from the school district, no money from anybody but graduates. And that's something that I am very, very proud of. We had a Panther challenge and Jim and Joyce Faulkner put out a challenge and they said, 
for the first 10 classes that raise, raise $1,000 or more, we're going to match $10,000. Now listen, I'm a fundraiser. I would have done something else to have got that money. I wasn't going to let that go by. So we actually had 11 classes that met the Panther Challenge. And those classes were 52, 57, 58, 61, 62, 64, 66, 68, 77, 82, and 87. 52 and 64 raised more money than anybody. And of course, I'm kind of proud of that. And so it's Joyce. We had a little contest going. And uh, then uh, there were some Panther Challenge patrons that stepped up and helped us, all alumni. And that would be Jim and Joyce Faulkner, the Benton Athletic Memorial Museum that is all about the history of Benton schools, athletics and otherwise. They helped us out and Fred and Edith Swain and their family in honor of all their kids and all their family that went to Benton High School. 23 other classes gave money, not a thousand, but they gave money. And we had about seven other patrons that helped us. And it makes me proud to be a Benton Panther. I also want to tell you that everyone that gave, but we all still bleed maroon and gray. The, I want to thank the Benton Police Department because they kind of watched over our Panther while he's been swaddled up here and, and making sure that nobody bothered him until we could get him uncovered. I want to thank Dick Mooney Incorporated for bringing a crane and an operator at no cost to set the Panther where he needs to be. He's pretty heavy. And I also want to thank Linda Hollenbeck who's been on board with us since the very beginning. And I want to thank my friend Mike Jones who volunteered his time to be our artistic advisor. And for those that know Mike, they'll really appreciate that. But Mike did help us and he made trips with us and I appreciate him giving his time. We have money, some extra money and we're going to be doing some extra landscaping that I think you guys will be proud of. And uh, there's going to be some other things in regard to the Panther statue in the coming weeks. And now I would like to introduce you to Mr. John Dedman, the former principal of Benton High School. <laughs> Mr. Dedman was the one that called me and said, by the way, I got a little job for you. Little did I know what he was getting me into, but he was kind of our quiet strength. Uh, I was usually talking, Joyce was doing something else, and Mr. Dedman was just sitting there doing what he had to do. So we really do appreciate the support and his constant caring about this project and coming back today to be with us. Mr. Dedman. Good morning, Benton High School. Each year, Benton High School produces great senior classes because of an outstanding faculty and staff and because of our seniors have pride in a spirit of determination. Two years ago, we started the Panther Challenge to bring a large bronze panther statue to Benton students. This panther represents the pride, the school spirit, and a school of excellence both academically and athletically. Thanks to all of the alumni that uh, contributed to and made this possible. A special thanks to Mary Kay Mooney and Joyce Faulkner, their commitment of service for others and their love of their school we should all respect and learn from. They worked tirelessly for you students to make sure the Panther Challenge was a huge success. Good luck to all of our students, and we wish you much, much success. It truly is a great day to be a Benton Panther. Well, after Mr. Dedman left, he left us in good hands because our project was not finished yet. And we inherited Miss Lita Gaddis. Lita didn't hesitate for one moment. She jumped in with both feet and uh, just 
took to this project like she'd been in on it from the very beginning. Miss Lita Gaddick. This is yet another milestone that we will all share together, and we've had many this year. Something that you need to know, something that I feel is very important to you, is that the day that this Bronze Panther was brought to our campus, if you were a student, a teacher, or any member of our staff at Benton High School, your name was placed in a time capsule, and it was placed in the paw of this Bronze Panther. You are truly a big part of this celebration. A big thank you to Mary Kay Mooney and jo Joyce Faulkner, John Dedman, who was past uh, principal of Benton High School, to Mr. and Ms. David Harris, who sculpted this uh, beautiful bronze panther, to the administrators in our awesome school district, to our teachers, our coaches, our students of Benton High School, who make us a nationally recognized school in academics and athletics, and to all the alumni and staff who, are, who work behind the scenes to make us look so great. To the citizens in our community who stand behind our great schools, thank you, thank you very, very much. <laughs> to the students of Benton High School, as you take your turn and become a graduate of Benton High School, this is a day that you will always remember. A historic day that you shared with your classmates an extraordinary day that you will talk about in the years to come. An exciting day to be a Benton Panther. A special thank you to everyone who came to share this day with us and for the role that you played in helping make us an extraordinary high school. Thank you. Next, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Jeff Collins, Superintendent of Benton School. Good morning, students. First of all, I want to tell you there's no coincidence when you look over my shoulder here to the left at the sign that says you're one of the top 7% high schools in the United States of America. Give yourself a round of applause. When Mr. Dedman came to me a little over a year ago, he said, Mr. Collin, we've got a committee together and we'd like to put a panther out in front of the high school. My first thought was, how big's the cage going to have to be? And after he began to explain to me, that was good, you guys get that? <laughs> after he explained to me the process and the committee and the commitment from the alumni in funding this project, we took this idea forward to the board. They were excited about it and embraced it. And I'm going to tell you something, students. Let me talk to you for just a second. I don't know if you caught this, but just a minute ago, you had alumni standing here from over 60 years ago. And they came back to your school and they looked and they said, what can we do to leave a mark for those students? And let me tell you why that's special. Because they looked into the future and they looked to see what kind of impact can we make for them. And here's my challenge to you students today. Remember this moment. Remember May the 6th, 2014. You were etched in stone, literally, as a panther. And the pride and the tradition and the spirit of excellence that exists here in this community is because of you and the alumni and the generations that have gone before you. And so come back one day with your student, your kids and your grandkids and remember the day that we put the panther on the ground. I want to thank uh, the alumni committee sitting here over here to my left. I want to thank Ms. Mooney and Ms. Faulkner. We're very proud and today is an awesome day to be a Benton Panther. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to introduce the Honorable Mayor of Benton, Arkansas, Dave Mattingly, my good friend and honorary brother. And we also thank his wife, Nancy, for attending today. Brother Dave. It's always interesting that they have it have to have at least one relic. 
involved in these things, but good morning. good morning. Let me thank all of the dedicated faculty, alumni, citizens, current student body, and committee members who have worked so hard to make the statue a reality. And a special thank you to David Harris, a sculptor of immense talent and creativity for his artistic work in creating the Panther, which you're going to see in just a couple of minutes. You, the student body of Benton High School, have been gifted with numerous talents as well. This magnificent sculptor should be an inspiration to all of you to push your talents to the limit. In addition, it's a rallying point for all of us to unite behind our community and our school. So why is dedicating something like this of significance? Because it is symbolic of a community spirit, recognizing excellence in academics, athletics, but most of all, a nationally recognized school system that prepares all of you to become productive citizens of our society and our community. What else can be said except go Benton, go Panthers. recognize this next gentleman that I'm going to be introducing to you. This gives credence to the fact that all of us old alumni definitely wanted you guys to be a part of this. And to represent you, I have the senior class president, Mr. Tucker Partridge, and we want him to come up and say a few words. Well, as a few of you may have seen, my phone just fell out of my pocket, and that was to keep time because, as some of you know, I enjoy talking. So, to keep myself in check, I brought a phone to keep time. So, I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes this morning about legacy. Now, some of you hear that and think, well, I'm 18, 17, 16 years old, I'm not old enough to leave a legacy. But what I'd like to say to you today is that every day that you spend in this life, is a day spending leaving a legacy behind. Seniors, you've got today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to leave your mark on Benton High School. <laughs> Juniors, you got three more weeks and another year. But that needs to be a year where you live your life and look around yourself and see that every day that you spend at this high school is leaving a mark on the sophomores, on the incoming sophomores, and on all the classes yet to come. Sophomores, I would say the same to you. Every day that you spend here, you're gonna be leaving behind something here. The class of 1952 brought it upon themselves to leave their mark in the form of this Panther, as well as all the other classes that were a part of this. So when you look at this Panther, some of you may say, well, it's just a bronze statue. But no, it's more than that. It is an embodiment of the legacy of Benton High School. We're about to sing the alma mater. And when you sing this alma mater, some of you know the words, some of you don't, I would challenge you to learn the words. <laughs> Heed the last few words of it. Dear Benton High, through you we serve. Dear Benton High, through you we give of our talents to mankind that our neighbors too may find. Life a sweeter, bigger job, dear Benton High. You're singing the alma mater today with the class of 1952, with the class of 2002, with the class of 2022, because all of Benton High School, past, present, and future is here today. Will you stand and join as we sing the alma mater? And I do wanna tell you, uh, alumni, if you will just stay in place at the end of the alumni, we are gonna be unveiling the Panther but please stay put till the students get in and start going back in the building uh, and they're needing to get a picture made. If you'll just kind of hang back a few minutes, then we want you to come up and interact with the panther, touch it, get on it, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, and I'm sure there are some that are still young enough to do that. Mike Jones, for instance, will be on it. He'll be the first one. Uh, but I do want to thank the cheerleader coach, Casey Davis, for the cheerleaders today. And I want to thank the band director, Tricia Sterling, for the band helping us out today. 
and the uh, core department of Benton High School under the direction of Angela White will be leading us in the alma mater. <laughs> and so we can start with the alma mater. Okay, Benton High School students, this is what we want to do with you. We want all of you to be a memory, make this a memory, and we want a picture of you behind the panther. So we want all of the student body to move on this side of the panther and be between the panther and the rotunda. Stay together, guys. Stay together. Be between the panther and the rotunda. Can you see everybody? Teachers, y'all can get in here too. If you get in the back, I think we can get you. Okay, everybody smile. One, two, three. You guys are so special. We're going to go work on that national academic challenge. Let's go to class. Take a block.